New developments in a hit and run that claimed the lives of a man in a wheelchair and a woman who was trying to help him cross the street. Tonight, this woman, 21-year-old Jada Mims, is facing two charges in connection with that crash. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers is live with the details, including this afternoon's first court appearance. Brittany? Now we've learned the 20 year old suspect in this case is now charged with two counts of failure to stop and render aid. I went through those documents that were just released today and in it it says that Jada Mims uh, hit those two victims accused of that in this area. It then says that she left and didn't return to the scene until 30 minutes later. On March 30th, a man in a wheelchair and a woman trying to help him cross a busy road in the Heights were hit and killed. Today, Julio Vela's client, 20-year-old Jada Mims, was charged in the death of Leisha Adams and Jesus Perez. She's obviously very sad and still very uh, in, a little bit emotional. Probable cause documents show that Mims told an HPD officer that something, quote, hit her car and she couldn't see through the windshield because of damage. It shows she stayed in the parking lot for a few minutes before going to her grandfather's home and he urged her to return. 30 minutes later, she came back. Mims's grandfather didn't answer the door when we asked for comment, but a prosecutor with the Harris County District Attorney's Office, Sean Teer, says that leaving is unacceptable. Even if you're not at fault for the crash, you've got to stop. You've got to make sure that these people can get the medical help they need because you might save a life that way. According to investigators, Mims didn't show any signs of intoxication and doesn't have a criminal history, but more charges could be coming. We're, we're waiting on speed. We're waiting on an accident reconstruction. Uh, there are other things to determine whether or not a phone was in play or some other type of a distracted driving. Now, Mims has $30,000 bond. Now, meanwhile, many in the community say that this tragedy is highlighting another issue that they see in the community. And coming up at 6, we're going to have much more on the push that they want to see to help change crosswalks and intersections in the city. I'm live here in the Heights. I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News.